Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2, A War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing Long War of the Chosen, Legendary Iron Man. It is episode number two. I hope you're as excited as I am. Operation Spider Tooth is ahead of us. Brew, Haupak, a resistance personnel and a couple of rookies are what we can get. We get a large map. So that'll take a little bit longer and we need to rescue the contacts and free the rebels so that'll be interesting um in fixive spawn uh, we do have a quite sizable extraction timer and it's going to be in the city center so let's go boys see what that extraction is all about all right we landed wow that's a very long way, but okay, we got 22 turns, so... What do you expect? Shinobi, Johnny Five, moves up. Sees a drone. Okay. I'd like to take some high ground, if possible. Johnny continues to move up a little bit closer. Sniper moves up. Done. Mike the Public Bravo. Small supply cache. Advanced PCS. Oh, that's good. Um, what is jammed as a penalty? Defense and mobility. Okay. Good. Maybe something when we're on our way out as a little potential bonus. Hogbite um, moves close. Sonar moves up. And Uncle Mover moves into. I could have maybe moved him upstairs, but uh, that's okay. I'll try to get the drone and use that for scouting purposes. Hey, wiring. Ah, that's not great, but it's not really bad either. What I will do is I will move a little bit closer to the target, and then we're hey wiring. Shutdown is not good enough. I want the drone. There you go. Things are moving in our direction. I like it. Under my control. Good. Two armor. That's pretty damn good. Can use it from next turn onwards. So. Let's start with moving up to here. Got eyes on a hostile squad. Okay. Mm, I don't know their detection radius. But this here should be fine. The question is, is this here going to be fine? It's going to be a close call, but... Why would we need to take any risk if we can just go over here? I see the path. I'm all over it. Sona moves up. Uncle Nuber moves up. Now we're staying there. That's actually a good position. Might, might have spotted us. In normal XCOM they wouldn't, but I am not as familiar with the detection ready in Long War of the Chosen, so don't want to take any risk here. We know they have moved to here, so finally getting a good view on them. Oh, they have moved down, interesting. 
Good, there is an entrance over here. So it is decided. The elders have a patrol here. More patrols. Okay, um, listen, we're going to use you as a living Mimic Beacon, that unfortunately revealed us. Good, we know there is a pack over here. And we're changing our position, so I'll take the high ground at the tower there. Sentinel and the other drones have spotted us out. Good overwatch, I like that. Holds the overwatch, gets grazed. Hawkbite moves in. And we're finishing the first guy. Good job. guys have a little bit too much armor for my liking so we're going to shred you very nice <laughs> okay yeah, well. Let's get rid of uh, the sector. Good, one drone needs to go. Thank you. And now it's time to get you down. Good. Shinobi gets a nice delay protocol and we soon need to kill our own drone last round for us but luckily it acts as a really really good mimic beacon to here one to two damage or stun I like stun stunned for an eternity that's good
That guy is almost down. Let me tell you, I do have a nice idea how we're going to deal with both of you. Of course, loot destroyed. Tch, yeah. Uh, full cover, but high ground. Taking loot. Don't want to trigger anything with sonar. Uh, if we go to here, I could go down and take high ground in we'll inside go. next turn. Roger that. Overwatching. Good. There is still one pack that is that was trolling around the other uh, the entire other side. Require a common PCS or alien alloys. Uh, we need alien alloys for various research projects. PCSs aren't bad either. Come on, you bucket of bolts. Do we have? access to these guys? Yeah, we do. All right, cool. We'll just move out because reinforcements are inbound in Everybody knows reinforcements stink and we don't like them. It is clear. No need to ask twice. Finally. Overwatch. 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 I will actually reload instead of overwatching. Next round reinforcements will be coming. Moves up, Hogbite is with the pack. Location confirmed. Double time. Solid copy. Good. As long as we're not needing to engage the last pack, that's all fine. If if they were to come, we of course could very much fight them. We still have plenty of time, but let's not underestimate the reinforcements, shall we? Roger 
Good, give me that advanced PCS. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Quick enough. I guess easy enough for first mission. Or second mission, rather. Yeah, that's not even half an hour, guys. I almost owe you the other mission. Because this went down way too fast. Okay, so we had uh, switched locations with uh, a unit that is friend or someone else. Costs one focus, and I think that did not end the turn. Okay, then we had Amplify, which is now a free action. Super good, specifically when we're fighting the Chosen later. So I want to take that. And. Indomitable, I don't even want to be attacked that often. What are his special abilities? All enemies uh, suffer aim penalty and uh, mobility penalty. That's great. Salvo is great for him because uh, that means we can throw something with him and still do our thing. Uh, against an aim and defense bonus when at least four tiles distance from an ally. Well, that's not bad. I mean, the defense bonus actually is quite good. This one not so great for him. Uh, both of them not so good, but this here is good. That's very good. On hit damage and critical chance when uh, you're short again, uh, when you short against the disoriented stand or panicked enemy. That's also not bad. Um, actually, quite good. I like it. I read through the tree beforehand and already thought of my build. And the idea is action economy is king. So what we want to do is we want to have that free action for additional uh, for additional damage. Since focus no longer is required to have the whole defense uh, stats, those shenanigans are gone. Focus actually just helps you to do cool spells. and. If we keep our mobility and do cool spells, then of course that is even better. So, for the uh, support, I will go straight up with the healing route. It is too good to not do that. Revival Protocol is just fantastic. Counterplay against a lot of effects, specifically unconscious, can be countered with that. The other option that I thought about was Sentinel and going for an Overwatch build. And there will, won't be like the one build, so to speak. There will be a couple of builds uh, that I will try out in this run. But this here looks great. Low profile is fantastic. Fortify is great. Um, double tap is actually also a very nice ability. So we will have a lot of the power coming from the secondary effects. And Salvo uh, isn't bad either, but I don't foresee him having a lot of grenades really just more a support good then we have Johnny Five McMullen here our scout uh, who can either take Ghost Walker for further reduction that is pretty damn good Lone Wolf 
which isn't bad either, or Blade Master for making sure that we do have that 100% hit chance and extra damage. The competitiveness and just the overall melee damage perks, I like them. I personally think uh, Ghost Walker is great, um, but the scouting that he does is already very, very good. So I don't necessarily need those, that tree as much. And we're going to have a Reaper as well. So I want another kind of melee combatant so that he can uh, contribute with damage. The one thing in Long War that I noticed uh, when having a concealed, continuously concealed Shinobi is uh, if larger pots are arriving, you're kind of running out of steam uh, with damage and having two support characters, it's a bit of a problem. Good. Russ, death from above, very good. Killing enemy a lower elevation gives uh, you a extra ability. That's good. Um, the Hunter's Chosen Rifle has been changed quite a bit, so it's not as OP anymore. Snapshot, very good as, uh, as well. If you really just want that single damage shot, you may take standard shots with your sniper rifle after moving, but suffer severe range penalties beyond five uh, tiles of squad side. So that's not bad either. Can't have that together with Death from Buff for an obvious reason, because they wanted that uh, chain kill build out um, of uh, the uh, out of uh, the order. Um, I think we're going to uh, use this classical sniper for him. Uh, double tap or respectively serial is great for that. Death from above, good. I like it. Really, really good. And together with damn good ground and a couple of other abilities, classical sniper always strong. Good. For our prime team, we need cover removal. And there is one way of essentially uh, filling uh, or there's one build that I like, which is basically filling a lot of uh, the support grenades and just working with them. And then towards the end, going for combat engineer in order to do significantly greater damage to cover objects. Um, that is one way of doing it. I could also foresee having a, a gunner later to uh, use uh, the, uh, the chain fire, uh, the cone, the attack cone that basically removes uh, cover. So both could work well, but until such time, you might need to reskill sonar a little bit later, but until such time, I would actually like to destroy cover more reliable, take heavy ordnance for just more grenades overall. Um, although I also had good experience with a little bit of zapper and then center mass and actually letting him shoot, so it's likely going to be destruction of uh, objects, more grenades, because we will rely on him. Formidable uh, could be a good option. Then heat warheads, very likely. And then I'm torn. This here is fine, uh, but chain shot is also very good. So you can, if, if we have enough um, aim on him, and we might uh, put him into a, a shooting uh, position. Uh, we definitely go for Salvo and then Combat Engineer. Uh, so since we can take multiple perks on the Prime team, it's not all that difficult because we will get more AP and then also more um, great skills. So here, a very interesting option. We could go for kind of a Defender Overwatch build. What I like to do is using them as primary damage dealer and oftentimes the problem is that you can't really hit enemies so walk fire is good. Uh, reduces the damage a bit, uses a lot of ammunition but if you have a big enough magazine it actually works out very well and we'll really make him a nice little midfield uh, threat to be reckoned with. Good. Advanced expanded magazine, that is good. I already like that in advanced hair trigger, also fantastic. Good. Now, I promised you a second mission, which I think in 
just one in just one hour is here we need to hack a workstation to get uh, 22 Intel and Intel package as well so in terms of new soldiers uh, we just got Brian Aviator Bro who does come in with good aim just really good aim and average stats elsewise fine could be anything good aim I'll, I'll take that any day of uh, the week um, yeah GTS will be uh, will be put here and for now let's launch that next mission Good, we're always expecting hostile resistance. Roger that. Move up. And we got a nice little run and gun if needed. Um, where is our technician? There we are. A flamethrower opener would be fabulous right. if we can pull it off. So Jeranks goes right there. Rolling out. Got it covered. Stepping off. Hmm. Nothing whatsoever. Eyes on a that patrol. is suspicious. There's the first hostile patrol. Good to go. Let's hope that they are coming in clutch a little bit closer. And that'll be an interesting opening. Coming a little bit closer, I want uh, that flamethrower opening. Wait, what? It's just you? I don't know. Well, let's still do it. Good, his friends are moving in, but <laughs> did not receive the debuff. Too bad. Nice little gun to the face. Conditioning, I like that. I like that a lot. Good, that's the second one down. And we're running and gunning. First good engagement. There, we said uh, we heard seven to nine, so there are going to be two more packs. One of which is this one. Yep, full cover. Over 
Let's start with that. Hmm. Moderate, moderate cover removal. Move up. Let's shred a little bit. Let's get the drone out. Thank you. On my way. Fifty fifty. Very nice. Good hit. I can grab that next turn. Running out of uh, decent cover. What I can do is take not so great cover and just deal a little bit damage. That was a stupid idea to reanimate, but whatever you want to do. I hope it's worth it. Almost got a flanking position over here. Continues to move up further. Oh, come on. Can't be that difficult. Thank you. you know, that was good. Suppressor isn't bad for infiltrations. LRM core at the expense of a full pack that I triggered. We're in good cover. But nonetheless, that's going to hurt. Stunned? Yeah. Oh boy. Good old stunner. Alright, shred. Moves into full cover, kills the drone. Oh, of course, minimum damage. Not good. Okay, I'll go. Wow. 
we're taking a lot of damage. And more stunner. That's a tough one. That is a tough one. Good, reapply is marked. I'm sure we're seeing another stunner. Let's hack it. A new ra uh, um, rebel joins. Well, might as well acquire a superior PCS with 0% chance. Try the shotgun to the face. How high of a chance is that? 100% hit chance. Yeah, we're just stunning him. Because that cost, that definitely takes him out and we have uh, the action economy advantage. We took a lot of damage. Way more than I would have anticipated. Sucks 485 because he will be in the mat bay. Sure thing. Got the revenge kill. Good. Should have um, put the evac in maybe a round or two earlier. Another thing that they did with Long War of the Chosen is they prevented you from XP farming. So the original number of enemies, in this case nine, is the number of XP that you're getting, regardless how many reinforcements we're slaughtering. There's no additional, in other words, there's no additional kill XP to be had. It is indeed time to go. It's clear. Go, go, go. Got it. I'm Get going. Out of here. I'm going. All XCOM operatives are secure. Fire. 
Firebrand is returning to base. Let's hope for less than 400 days of sick bay. I told the troops to expect the best, and that's what you've shown them. 25. Hmm. Good. Synapse is a wonderful gunner. I like that. High combat intelligence as well. Very nice. Uh, should have waited because I knew that uh, that this guy will be the gunner, and I could have selected the rookie with the highest uh, to hit. Got another gunner, and we got a promotion right here. So rockets are more accurate, but it would be great. Suppression isn't bad either and I did not have a lot of uh, great success with flamethrowers in general. Let's take a look at Jarenx's options, Holo targeting, hail of bullets, full kit gets more utility, dead eye. So he really has a lot of like firepower himself. Let's get a few of uh, the rocket abilities and then we're just playing him as a fire support aim assist field medic that's not bad return fire isn't bad that is actually quite good that's good and implacable fantastic so one of the things with shotguns is their lack of range uh, so slug shot isn't bad but i think we're going to start with lightning reflexes because many of uh, the chosen do have abilities to continuously go into overwatch and we got another shinobi right there fantastic commander having these two soldiers continue to work together has paid off they know each other well enough at this point that we can have them train as a practical capabilities. Okay, so Drenks, Soldier Bonds together with uh, 85. Well, that's a nice little. That's a nice little bond. I like that. And uh, these two uh, soldier bonds, uh, that seems like a good idea as well. Fabulous. So out of the gunners, who is the one? I think Tracy St. Elliot is the better one for us. Uh, good aim. Not perfect, but good aim. 15 and 5, that is good. Synapse is a little bit slower, has um, more uh, dodge, which is also not bad, but I don't want to play a completely stationary gunner, and he already bonded with the Shinobi Ataxia, which is not Johnny Five, and Johnny Five is our main Shinobi. Wounded for 25 days, that stinks. Very good. There is the impo also, also important uh, scientist which we want to have. Fantastic. Increases research speed drastically. Gain ability points, form soldier bond wouldn't be bad, they took out all of the secondary bonuses, that's oh, tough, no more unlimited scaling, maybe you get them later, who knows. 
Alien loot, A days, superior weapon upgrade. Ability points is good. We need a lot of them. I would like to form a soldier's bond. Templar sharpshooter is typically a good combination. Or specialist Templar and then shinobi sharpshooter. I think we're going to do it that way around. Very good. New income, a whooping zero supplies. We're out of intel. We could scan to heal faster. Which, yeah, I will do a little bit later. Let's use the chance because drones are under high demand at the moment. Ah, we didn't get any further drones. All right. Never mind. And they reduce the cost, uh, the uh, gain from Malarium crystals as well. Clever. We got conditioning, which we should put on. We'll need to seek out new means of replenishing our resources. Oh, we can't even get per a personal combat sims at the moment. Need to get alien biotech first. Never mind. Okay, we're scanning for additional missions. New objective added. The admin officers have clearly been modified to allow for their subordinates to receive new orders psionically. AP rounds so good. Hybrid materials, let's do that. We require more supplies. I definitely like AP rounds. They are good. Very strong counter for the drones. On the surface, it was very comfortable. But there was a... The millions of people in those cities don't seem to mind all that much. Yes, but Advent is always... Let's put an advisor in here. themselves, they see everything. Not to mention the automated systems. For now, you guys are gathering intel. And let's have another advisor here. Wait a second, we had two in hiding. I don't like that. There is no hiding. There is only intel. Until you find me some more missions. That's my boy. And that is fantastic. See, all of a sudden, there we go. The good, uh, the good missions come to life. So, Haven advisors are going out, and let's get the VIP going. Large area. I'll do that real quickly. Good, got the squad filled. Uh, the A team will do that mission. So let's start the infiltration. We definitely need uh, the scientist. Sky Ranger deployed. Menace ready to deploy. Which then brings us to the second mission. All right. This one only carries four soldiers. I opened the B team. 
which Ataxia and Synapse will lead. And let's see what Renman and Aviator uh, can can add to the mix. We go in with Gunner plus Shinobi and then just two rookies. Mm. Yeah, we will, won't have any chance for a medkit here. Just gotta deal with it the old fashioned way. Suck it up. I don't want to hear complaints. Let's see if we can find another mission. Good, we want a guerrilla tactic school next for 150. sure if we have found enough missions let's check over here I think we've exhausted the missions in the first region might as well scan over here Our action together is complete commander Good, superior weapon upgrade wouldn't be bad. Alien loot wouldn't be bad either. But I think we go for the nice little ability points here. Good. Do you guys carry enough stuff? So that's fine. That is fine. And Noah. Well, that's fine as well. Might as well give you a second normal grenade just for good measure. Avatar project officially started. They finish what they've started. It sounds like it'll be the end for all of us. Let's continue scanning here, and we got a new target, which is great. Season grab that uh, will very much increase this, uh, the suspicion of advent in this area. But what can we do? I want the enemy materials, and that is super handy because of the additional rewards that we could gain. But I'm not sure that we need that many. I think this is more kind of a run for four of you. Good. Listen, we'll get up to 104. Uh, we do have enough grenades. We do have all of the equipment and a pretty well run team. Frontline, damage, uh, cover removal and support, which is good enough. What we need in here is definitely be uh, on point with the resistance contacts because that will give us supplies. And my strategy at the beginning of uh, Long War is to starve ourselves with supplies. I will be greedy with the other uh, things, specifically missions, intel, uh, and then just getting opportunities to do stuff. But until the liberation of the first uh, region, we will be poor. Each is to reaching their ultimate goal of locating the 
Good, I think we do not have resistance orders, which really uh, is a problem. It'll make us weaker and the enemy stronger. Good, we got full infiltration here and very soon we're infiltrating there as well. This here now is a must launch. combat rush whenever they crit interesting so we don't want advent to crit here interesting side trip um yeah that's really it uh was a bit longer episode anyways we do have three missions planned ahead of us and short of the supplies i think we're doing relatively well just need to continue clearing out alien debris and then selling corpses whenever possible and be more mindful with uh, mm, uh, with uh, mm, destroying corpses because uh, they are worth money and we are short in supplies so that's our main goal at the beginning get supplies get the GTS and then continue from there the resistance ring at the moment is kind of self-sufficient I think that is good we will need to see what else we need. Uh, got some recruitment missions here. Got loot. That one is cool. A resistance mech for one of our havens. So I think we're going to do that. I like it. We're not good enough at locating the other heroes yet. We will need a bit higher soldiers for that. But that's a cool mission and more resistance personnel at the beginning is helpful superior pcs is pretty good as well might as well get that all right that's it from my side thanks for watching guys and see you in the next episode bye bye